We developed an interest in research related to protein enhancement of exercise performance, muscular development. We said we need someone to provide the protein and we chose Shackley because of the excellent reputation they have, their medical directors, their PhDs, and the fact that when they do sponsor research, they don't interfere with the research. We, we do what we want to do, and, and we say thank you very much, and they accept what we present. And this was a weight loss study with a specific focus on trying to build muscle at the same time that we were losing fat. And indeed, in every aspect of the study, we found that those who took the extra protein had better results than those who did not. In the first three months of the study, we had two groups, a group that did exercise only and a group that did exercise plus the nutrition plan. They were to replace two meals each day with a high protein shake or an equivalent protein bar. Women were to eat between 1,200 and 1,500 calories per day and men were to eat between 1,500 and 1,800 calories per day. We did strength training about 20 minutes each session and we also did cardio. We fit that in in an interval training program interspersed with the resistance exercise that also equaled about 20 minutes per session twice a week. Both groups did very well, but statistically the group that did the exercise and the nutrition plan had greater improvements in body weight, body mass index, percent fat, fat weight, waist circumference, and hip circumference. And those who took the protein shake actually lost almost twice as much fat as those who didn't. We then continued another three months and the group that did exercise only now became its own kind of control group in that we added a nutrition plan to them. So we call that a within group comparison and in the second three months, they actually, just like the between group study, had greater improvements in body weight, body mass index, percent fat, fat weight, waist circumference, and hip circumference than they did during the first three months. We also had the group that did the exercise nutrition continue for another three months in the same manner to see if the results would be continuing in that same beneficial manner or if they'd get tired of the program and kind of burn out. Interestingly, they lost the same amount of fat the second three months as the first three months, about seven pounds. But in that second three months, they actually gained considerably more lean weight or muscle weight. They did not burn out. They did not become discouraged. They actually made outstanding results. So we learned from that that six months is not too long to be on a program of exercise nutrition and still obtain not just good results, but the same results they had during that first three month period. The second phase was what we call the maintenance phase, and instead of just stopping cold turkey, which is why most studies fail when they look at the maintenance, and most people regain all the weight they've lost within one to two years, we said let's continue the exercise program, let's go back to normal eating, no more calorie restriction, but let's continue at least one protein shake per day because that seemed to work so well and no one objected to that. We haven't published this data yet, but in general, we were amazed to find that by continuing the one shake per day in the exercise program, we actually continued to add muscle and lose fat during the maintenance program, which means they're increasing their resting metabolic rate, which means even though they're going back to normal eating, they were still able to lose fat, and they lost a significant amount of fat, which I've never seen any other study accomplish that. Typically, you get about 50% of the people drop out of the program. We maintained almost 85% of the people who started during the first six months, and those are the hardest months because you have to cut your calories and you're starting a new exercise program and there's a lot of new lifestyle changes that you're making. But we were even more surprised during the maintenance period because, again, you're, you're, there's a whole different mindset during the maintenance. I've done the program, now I'm back to normal, I can do my thing. But we had basically a 75% compliance rate. So the fact that people enjoyed the process as well as the product was, you know, that was a, a, a pleasant surprise to us because most people who are going to enter a weight loss program have not been successful at these types of things in the past. In fact, in previous studies, people that entered our program, it was their 10th time on average that they've tried to lose weight, which means they've succeeded 10 times, but they've also failed 10 times. So in every respect, we were quite surprised 
at the benefits of not just stopping cold turkey, but continuing a lifetime exercise program and a higher protein intake via a meal replacement shake.